Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing the brand new episode in my 15 minute build series. In this episode, we are going to be building this country style house. And it's not super fancy. It's got a nice, a, uh, the A-frame roof up here, nice and angled. We've got these dormer windows here, and then some shutters on the window, and kind of a little porch deck type thing. That's what makes it a country style home, at least in my opinion, and my limited knowledge of architecture. So, all pretty straightforward. I didn't do any interior decorating, uh, just because I didn't think I was going to have time. But if we do have time, I'll do some interior decorating in the house that we'll actually build. And I think that is pretty much all I need to explain for the time being. So, let's go ahead and get right to building. I'm going to put 15 minutes on the clock, starting right now. So... First thing that we'll want to do is we're going to want to give ourselves some space. Uh, let's just come over here, I guess. And we'll put down the first block. And now we're going to count one, two, three, four, five, and six right here. So there will be a total of five blocks right there. Then we're going to do the same, one, two, three. And we're basically just going to make room. There'll be a window right here. Oh, I'm sorry, window right here. And come down, just envision the shutters going here. And then right here would be the door. And then we'd have another shutter. And it would all end up like that. And then we'll go ahead and take this spruce wood. Oh, come on now this spruce wood all the way across the bottom to there and then bring it up to here and then right here we're going to do basically the same thing we'll take these chiseled stone bricks you can use whatever you want for a, a corner piece it certainly doesn't have to be chiseled stone bricks it's just kind of what i personally decide to go with and we'll do that there now on this side we'll take the birch planks and we'll make room for one window just like that and once again envision the shutters those will go on there up here we'll put another chiseled stone brick we'll take the spruce logs across and then we're basically just going to copy it on this side except the windows will be a little bit different on this side because there's no door so just be aware of that Bring those logs, bring that down, and like so. And we'll have a window that goes right here. Okay, now on this side, the windows are a little bit different. We'll go ahead and bring this whole thing across. We'll bring it up. We'll bring that one up. And we'll bring this top one across like that. And then we're going to make the windows here too wide instead. So it's basically going to go like that. And then we will take the spruce logs across the top, just like so. Okay, now next we're going to put the floor in here. And for that I'm going to use spruce planks. Once again, you can use whatever materials you want for this house. This one is more about uh, styles and elements of various architectural things like the dormer windows and the uh, shutters and whatnot than it is anything else. We'll also put those like that and then right here and here since we have them out anyway. And then right up here, we're going to go ahead and fill this in as well. And then I don't think we need any more spruce planks after this. I think this is pretty much all that the spruce planks are used for. The, the roof will use them a little bit more. But the planks themselves, I think we're done right there. Now, let's take some spruce stairs. And we'll just kind of bring those across. And bring those up as well. Now we're going to mark out where the windows are going to go. And to do that, I'm just going to draw a little thing like this. And that will let us put the stairs up like so. 
And once again, just going to mark out that little bit like that. And I know that I actually changed this a little bit from the other design. If you look at the other design, the uh, logs go here on the other one. But I think I actually like this better. So just be aware of that. You can do it either way. Next, we'll take some spruce slabs and put those on top. And then we can go ahead and knock those out. Now behind them, because stairs are kind of goofy when it comes to glass panes, we're going to put the glass window blocks behind like this. The top floor is pretty much entirely for decoration. It doesn't actually serve a purpose, at least not in this variation of this design. You certainly could add a ladder or something to make use of some of the upstairs space, but that's up to you. I'm sure you can figure out what you want to do there. Now we'll bring that over, and we'll bring that one, and that one over. And that's looking pretty good, I think. Let's grab these birchwood planks, and we'll fill that in. And I suppose we better do the same thing over here as well. There we go. And that will let us build up the rest of our roof which will come across just like this. And I suppose I should probably grab that and fill that in too with a slab. And once again, spruce slab. And there we go. Oh, rain, why do you torment me? Ugh, grr. Okay, so now we will build up this side of the roof. And this is actually going to go down here as well. We'll go ahead and take this one all the way across. I think I missed. I missed a block. Okay, there we go. Same over here. And we'll do that. And then I believe I actually stuck a glowstone block right here just to keep mobs from spawning. Although I'm in a peaceful world, so it really doesn't matter. Actually, that is... never mind. We're going to take that out because it's entirely unnecessary. I forgot that I used the floor of the attic for glowstone lighting. So it won't even make a difference. It won't be needed in this version. So we're just going to take it out. Okay, now on top we'll put some spruce wood planks. We'll go ahead and bring those all the way across the top like this. Then we're going to stick a spruce wood plank here. And we'll fill those three spaces with upside down spruce stairs, like that. That'll give us a little bit thicker roof. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side. So spruce plank, and then upside down spruce stairs. So there we go. And that's looking pretty good. Now down here, we're going to put normal spruce stairs, and then around these edges, we're going to wrap upside down spruce stairs. So there we go, there's the deck. Now we're going to come in here, and in the middle, we're going to knock a spot out right here, and then a spot out here, and a spot out there. And these ones are just lined up with the windows. And in there, we'll put glowstone. That'll keep monsters from spawning both upstairs in the attic and downstairs in the house if you're building this in a survival world. Although, of course, you can use whatever light source you want. Um, actually, those would be over here under decoration. There we go. We're going to grab some glass panes, a dark oak door, and some wooden trap doors. And we'll fill in the glass panes right over here. Just like that. And that all looks good to me. Put a dark oak door right there, just because I think it matches the best. And now, we're going to put on the shutters. Which are a key defining feature of country homes. And 
There we go. Shutters are done. So that is pretty much the house. The only thing that's left to do is put the fence right out here like that to give us a little bit of a railing on the deck. But that's the house. And that only took about nine and a half minutes. So we are going to make use of some of this extra time to decorate it just a little bit. So let's see. Let's grab some chests, some of this stuff. We'll maybe grab, hmm, let's grab, actually, let's grab that oak fence again. We'll grab maybe some oak stairs, some bushes. Uh, let's grab a pressure plate. I suppose we're going to need a bed. And maybe, and maybe some normal oak wood. That's a good start, I think. So we'll put the bed over here, and on either side, just for decoration, we're going to put a couple of bushes on top of a oak log. I think right here is a good spot for the table. So, oh, there we go. So we'll put a little table right there, a little dining area. We can put... Maybe a chest here and a chest there? No, I don't like that. Let's put a chest here and a chest here instead. I like that much better. And then over on this side, we'll make this our little uh, crafting area and kitchen and all that good stuff. So we'll put a couple of furnaces there. We can maybe grab some stone slabs and make like little counters little counter space or something I don't know we could even put chests down here hiding underneath if we wanted to actually I kind of like that that's kind of cool so yeah so we'll do that we'll mix those in and then maybe on the walls we need something on the walls let's see let's put up let's grab an item frame and maybe a painting I think we could use a nice painting right here just something like that maybe up here we could maybe do a nice big painting or something maybe I thought there was a three wide maybe not maybe I'm I think I'm wrong now that I think about it I think I'm incorrect okay so we'll just leave that um maybe up here instead we'll put a couple of item frames with maybe a Hmm, what would look good? Let's try maybe... Yeah, something like that. And then on the other one, maybe peonies? Yeah, that looks. those look kind of like paintings, I think. That'll work. And then over here... Let's put maybe a... Tripwire hook above... Let's maybe knock this out and put a cauldron there. Where would cauldrons be? Would they be under decoration? Oh, they'd probably be under brewing. There we go. So we'll put a cauldron there. We'll put a tripwire hook above it like a sink. And then... We'll put a brewing stand here as a as a milkshake machine, as Scar as good times as Scar likes to call it. And um Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm good I'm good with that. That works for me. And then I think we just need like one more thing. Maybe an armor stand right here. So decoration blocks, armor stand. And uh, then we'll just grab some armor. Like so. There we go. So we've got our armor, we've got our table, got all that good stuff. That all looks pretty good to me. This Yeah, I'm I'm happy with that. I'm good with that. So I'm gonna call this build completed at 13 minutes and 52 seconds. There you have it, guys. A nice country-style home. So, we're in the Christmas tree. 
were. I'm going to fly above the Christmas tree. There you have it, guys. A nice country-style home. So, guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I really do appreciate it, and it really, really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.